Hello YouTube, this is the Middle School Math Man, back with another Math 8 video. <clears throat> Today's video is on ordering rational numbers. So when we are ordering numbers, the easiest way to do that is to convert all the numbers into decimals. So as you can see, in this example, we already have one problem, or one number that is in decimal form, we have 12.2%, so we have to know how to change that percent to a decimal. And the way I do that is I take my decimal point where it is, and I just move it two places to the left. So that as a decimal is 0 0.122. We have scientific notation right here. So I have 1.01 .01 times 10 to the first power. So when I'm working with scientific notation, the way it's written there, I have a positive exponent, so my number needs to get bigger, and I'm moving it one decimal place to the right. So that's all I'm doing with that problem. So that is 10.1. So I have 0 0.128, I have 0 0.122, and I have 10.1. The problem tells me to order the following numbers in ascending order. So we need to talk about ascending and descending. So ascending with an A, think about ascending up a mountain. You are starting from the bottom of a mountain and you are ascending, you are going up the mountain. So ascending order means least to greatest. So for these two problems, we are going to be ordering these from least to greatest. So 10.1 obviously is bigger than 0.128 and 0.122. So that's going to go at the end. Least to greatest, 10.1. Then we need to figure out what's smaller, 0 0.122 or 0 0.128. So the 0.12 is the same in each. And then we have 0.122 and 0.128. So that 0 0.122 should be the first thing. Then we have 0 0.128. And finally, we have 10.1. So those numbers are now in ascending order, least to greatest. We're going to do the same thing with the second problem. 115%. In this problem, when we change it to a decimal, we got to think about where the decimal is to start. The decimal is at the end. 115%, we could add zeros onto the end, it wouldn't change the problem. So this is 115%, move the decimal two places to the left, so 115% as a decimal is 1.15. Moving on to the scientific notation. Here we have a negative exponent, 1.19 times 10 to the negative first power. So when we have negative exponents, that tells us we're going to have a small number. So we need to move this decimal one place to the left. We're making it smaller. So that is 0 0.119. And then our last problem is already in decimal form for us. So again, ascending order, least to greatest. So we need to figure out what the smallest number is. We have 1.15, 1.4, and 0 0.119 should be pretty obvious that 0 0.119 is less than both of those other numbers. Now we have to look at 1.15 and 1.14. Well, if you look at the number in the tens place there, 1 is less than 4, so it should be 1.15, and then finally 1.4 is the biggest number. Moving on to a couple more problems. Now it's asking us to order them from greatest to least. Another way I could say this is write them in descending order. So I used a mountain. Um, think about descending down a mountain. You're starting at the top, and then you're descending. You're going down. So we're going to go greatest to least, like it says in the problem. 19%, again, move the decimal two places to the left. So that is 0 0.19 as a decimal. 19 over 20. So fractions. When we want to change fractions to 
decimals, we can just divide the numerator and the denominator. So 19 over 20 is 0 0.95. 1.9 percent, again, percent to decimal, move it two places to the left. So here we're going to have 0 0.019. And finally, scientific notation, 1.9 times 10 to the fifth power. So it's going to be a big number. We're going to have to move it five places to the right. One, two, three, four, five. And I have zeros where I made my jumps. So that number is 190,000. So greatest to least. Now we have to look at all the numbers. I think it's pretty obvious that 190,000 is the biggest number we have. I'm actually going to write it in the original form. 1.9 times 10 to the fifth power. That's the biggest. Next, if we just look in the tens place, we have a 0, a 9, and a 1. So I think... 0 0.95 is going to be next. Originally that was 19 over 20. So we're done with these two. Now if we, again, if we look at the tens place, 1 is greater than 0, so 19% should come next. And finally the last one left is that 1.9%. Last problem we're going to do in this video, similar to the uh, previous problem. 2.3 times 10 to the negative third power. So that's going to be a small number. It's a negative exponent. So 1, 2, 3. So that number is 0 0.0023. Two thirds as a decimal. 2 divided by 3. We're going to get 0 0.66 repeating. 2.3%. Again, move it two places to the left. So that is 0 0.023. And 2.3 is already in decimal form for us. Greatest to least descending order. So the biggest number we have here looks to be 2.3. Now we're looking at what we have left. If we just look in the tens place, it looks like 2 thirds is going to be our next number. It's our next biggest because there's a six there. So now we're down to two numbers, 2.3 times 10 to the negative third power and 2.3%. If we're looking in the hundreds place, we have two, and then over here we have zero. So 2.3% is going to be our next biggest number. And finally, 2.3 times 10 to the negative third power will be the smallest number we have.